The ultimate destination is, of course, right here, inside an RCA video disc player. <laughs> As the old song about love and marriage says, you can't have one without the other. Here's our spine, the disc, and here's the tracking arm which carries the player's diamond stylus. Now here's how the arm looks before it goes into the player. And here's how the player looks before it becomes one. Thousands of diodes, resistors, and other component parts, including some of the most sophisticated microcomputer chips available today. And they all come together looking like this. The RCA Select Division Video Disc Player. Now the random access model has the capability of finding any one of several thousand images recorded on our disc. It even generates a time display on the TV screen plus additional graphics. And of course, it has to translate these groove undulations into a television signal, as well as into direct video and sometimes stereo audio signals. Remote control commands from this infrared hand unit must also be processed by the player, and the response must be instantaneous, which is why every diode and transistor is 100% tested before entering the player assembly area. Heat and cold stress tests make sure they measure up. Other tests check the geography of prefabricated parts. You see, every screw hole and assembly point must be in perfect alignment to ensure precision player operation. After inspection, individual components are automatically sorted onto a special tape reel. They have been placed in an exact order because in a few moments, they will be automatically inserted into this master signal processing board. It looks, reads, and is like an electronic roadmap. This machine is shaking these metal stakes into special positioning posts. The posts will then insert the stakes into specific slots on the board. Now, these stakes will serve as connector posts during the player build-up process. Once staked and riveted, our board goes to automatic insertion. This machine automatically places each component in its proper position. Now, once automatic insertion is complete, the boards are racked and then sent to the circuit board build-up line. Each station is responsible for the addition of specific components to the board. The next step is to secure them to the board. To do this, each board passes over a bath of liquid solder, which bonds the component leads to the board's metallic patterns. The end result looks like this, with all these components now fully integrated onto the board. And after just a few more steps, board buildup will be complete. Which means our master circuit board is now ready for its final pre-player assembly test and alignment. Any imperfection or faulty component detected here will send the board to a special troubleshooting station for closer examination. Thank you. Boards that pass are now ready for the final player assembly process. We are now beginning tracking arm buildup. Now, the arm assembly is die-cast zinc. This precision boring device 
is making sure the assembly's fastening holes are exactly aligned. You see, the arm is a very complex device. It must house not only the stylus cartridge, but also the sensitive pickup electronics. When the arm reaches this final testing station, over 80 distinct components on three subsystem circuit boards have been assembled into it. Thank you. Now this too is ready for final player assembly, along with our master signal processing board. The player's direct drive turntable is the last major component that we need. Now you see, this ring on the bottom of the turntable will actually become a component of the motor. The turntable must spin at precisely 450 revolutions per minute on a perfectly flat plane. So balance is critical. This operation dynamically checks and adjusts that balance. Now our turntable is ready to make its way to the final assembly line. Here it joins forces with the master processing board and the pickup arm. The turntable will be magnetized to allow it to operate with the motor drive system. Then its height must be set. The automatic loading mechanism must be assembled and the power transformer added. Not to forget this uh, very essential power cord. Now this final line procedure is called stop station assembly. You see, total player production is dependent on the speed of the slowest process on the line. Now, the player is conveyed on this special table with its own power outlet. This enables each player to be tested at several points during assembly. This troubleshooting station keeps a running log of any problems. The information gathered here can also be used to track performance standard trends. If a certain tolerance begins to waver, it may be time to make an adjustment at a previous production stage. Life tests are conducted separately. Sample players are taken from the line and brought to this room and subjected to 500 hours of continuous play. Well, this helps assure that all the components and parts will perform at the optimum levels expected of them. Each player's final quality check is conducted in this shielded room at the end of the stop station line. Color quality, picture stability, and of course, audio performance are all monitored here. With the next and final procedure, taking place right below. These are the finishing touches, the cover, the special labels, and the packing tabs. And of course, the owner's manual. And finally, the finished product, ready for shipping through the distribution pipeline. Some players, however, are in for a not too pleasant side trip. These two, for example, are about to be Rocked. After a couple more hard knocks, the player is checked to see if it withstood the abuse. Well, it may not seem like a fair test, but it's an essential one. You see, an instrument like this, with the capability to retrieve and play back video and audio information stored on a device like this, must be designed, engineered, and manufactured to perform for consumers like no system they've ever seen before. And RCA has to be confident it will work as soon as it's removed from the carton and properly connected. To the average consumer, this is how it all begins. To the people at RCA, who you've just seen working to bring it all together, this is just about where the whole process ends.